Shalom, everybody. Welcome to our welcome to our shiur on the parasha on parashat b'shalach. We are back doing it on Zoom. Hopefully, we'll be back on Bezrat Hashem soon enough on um, on uh, uh, in person Bezrat Hashem very very soon. This year, uh, just <clears throat> if you guys can hear me. Wherever you are, whether it's on Facebook Live or on Zoom, you guys are watching me. Just give me a thumbs up or call out. Let me know that you are actually um, hearing me so that I know that it's uh, we are live and you guys can hear well. Shalom, Rabbi. Shalom. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so this shiur is dedicated for the Refua Shalema of Kor Chole Am Yisrael, especially for the Refua Shalema of Mordechai Ben Goltaj and uh, Yonatan, um, Yonatan Refael Ben Gladi Simcha and Revital Hayabat Gladi Simcha. Um, and it's dedicated to Leilui Nishmat. And also the Nishmat de Zera Shimshon. Zehuto Taren Aleinu. Shall we wait a few more moments? I think people are still joining in. So that we know everyone is here once we get started. <clears throat> Okay, I think it's fair to say whoever's here is here. Okay, Parashat <clears throat> B'Shalah. So the Pasuk says in the final climax and exodus of Bnei Israel from Mitzrayim, the Pasuk says that Kadosh Baruch Hu gives a guarantee to Bnei Israel, to the Jewish people. And that guarantee is in Shemot, Pasuk Tetvav Chavvav. This is, by the way, Zera Shimshon um, Ot Yud Dalet, 14th Ot. The Pasuk says, Kol ha-machala asher samti b'mitzrayim, lo asim alecha, ki ani Hashem rofeecha. All the, um, all the bad things that I placed on Mitzrayim, all the things that I brought down upon Egypt, I shall not place upon you, Ki ani Hashem rofecha, because I am God, your healer. That's the pasuk. And in this pasuk, there is, there is a meta message. It seems from here, Shakadosh Baruch Hu Maftichenu, that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is promising us that He will never bring any tragedy or any machala, any sickness or ailments to Bnei Israel. Because he is the one who is the rofet. He is the one who is the healer. But we have to see here. Why do we need a reason it being that Hashem is the healer himself? Why is it that Hashem says all the sicknesses and all the ailments that I gave the land of Egypt, I am not going to place upon you. Why? Because I am your healer. What does that mean? Why is that a reason why Akadosh Baruch Hu will not put those sicknesses and ailments and uh, those tragedies upon Israel? Why? Because he is the healer? Why is that a reason why he wouldn't do such a thing? You got the question? That's basically a very simple question. Because he says, Ki ani Hashem rofecha, Because I am God, your healer. Therefore, because I am your healer, I'm not going to bring upon you ever the things that I brought upon Mitzrayim. <clears throat> it's as if, as, as if you could possibly say, you know what, then don't bring the sicknesses, so you're not going to be the healer either. If you don't bring the sicknesses, you won't be the healer. So he says, yes, the Taret, you could answer. Again, once again, he brings from the Shulchan Aruch. Shekatava Shulchan Aruch, the Shulchan Aruch says in Hoshen Mishpat Siman, tough. Chaf. Seif. Chaf Aleph. He says, this is, this is in the Shulchan Aruch, 
regarding a case, if someone damages somebody else physically, brings damage to someone, harms somebody physically. And he says over there like this. Let's say somebody, God forbid, punches someone in the face. Not that I would, you know, I'm kidding. Let's say two people get into a fight and somebody damages somebody. And we know, according to the rules, that person has to pay certain damage costs. Ripuli, boshet. Uh, he has to pay for the fact that, let's say, if he lost any work, he, wouldn't, he wasn't able to go to work for a few days. He has to pay for that. And he also has to pay for the refuah. He has to pay for the healing process, whether that person has to go to the doctor, visitations of the doctor, or medication, whatever it is, the, the damager has to pay the damagee those costs. However, let's say the person that caused the damage himself is an urgent care doctor, or he's a doctor, or he's a surgeon. And he tells the guy, listen, I agree that I damaged you. I agree that there was damage done. I am willing pro bono to heal you. I am willing to fix the problem myself. You don't have to go to a doctor. Lucky you. I am a doctor myself, doctor in the house. I'm going to help you myself. <coughs> what is the Shulchan Aruch say halakha is? If this person says, I will heal you myself, Ain Shom Inlo does not have to listen to him, shouldn't listen to him. Why? Because the, the, the Nizak, which, Nizak, which is the person that was damaged, has no chiyuv, has no obligation to take the pro bono healing process from the doctor. Why? Because a person that was damaged by someone, hurt by somebody, does not feel comfortable being healed by that same person. You know, oh, you, uh, you were the one who punched me in the face to begin with. Now you want to be the one to, to, to help me out in this situation? No, thank you. I'd rather um, take my chances with another doctor. Makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And the Shulchan Aruch says that there's no need for that. He does not need to agree to say, hey, you know what? Uh, okay, fine. The guy is the guy is willing to do it himself. He's a good doctor. I've heard good things. He's got a lot of uh, uh, stars on Google, and he's uh, he's got uh, great ratings on Yelp. So why go to another doctor when the guy he can do it himself? So Shukana says he doesn't have to. Hakadosh Baruch Hu Hu Rofei Shelanu. Hakadosh Baruch Hu, as we all know it, is our Rofei. He is our healer. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one who brings the Machala, he hurts our enemies, so to speak, somehow. He is not, he's not able to bring the Rufa himself because the damager can't be the doctor. He can't be the healer. So we'll have a problem because maybe we won't want him to help us. Therefore, therefore, kvar mitchila eno chovel banu. To begin with, Hakadosh Baruch Hu saying, "I will not bring these machalot upon you." That's why the pasuk says, "I will not bring these machalot upon you, the ones that I brought upon Mitzrayim." Mipenei, and the reason is why. Why is it that Hashem is guaranteeing that He won't bring those machalot? He won't bring those hardships. He won't bring those Ill illnesses that he brought upon Egypt, upon Bnei Israel, And he says, you know why I won't bring those? Because, because I, Hashem, I am your healer. And we asked, why is that the reason? Why is that a good reason? Uh, he won't bring those Ill illnesses because he's the healer? Yeah, because he's saying, because I am the healer, then if I bring the illness it itself to you, According to your own halacha, according to my Torah, I won't be able to be the one to heal you. Therefore, I won't bring it. <laughs> and this is the reason the Midrash in Shira Shirim says, Shira Shirim Rabbam, on Pasuk, And the Pasuk says, 
It says, Shedarshu ala pasuk. We bring a drasha on that pasuk in Shira Shirim. It says, V'nagaf Hashem et Mitzrayim nagof berafo. Hashem brought, smit Mitzrayim, Egypt, and verafo, and it was healed. Amar Resh Lakish. Resh Lakish says, En HaKadosh Baruch Hu maket Israel. Resh Lakish says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will never smite Bnei Israel, Ela imken bore lahem refuah techila. Rather, only if the refuah, if the healing process has already been created beforehand. Meaning, Hashem will never bring a machala to Bnei Israel unless he's already created the healing before the machala, before the sickness. Shenemar, as it says in the Pasuk in Oshea, Kerof ile Israel benigna avon Ephraim, which means HaKadosh Baruch Hu first, first creates the potion that will heal, and then he will bring Kas Shalom the illness. Aval, however, when it comes to our enemies, uh, enemies of God, Bnei, uh, and enemies of Bnei Israel, it's the opposite. First, HaKadosh Baruch Hu smites them. Why? On their sins, because of their sins, he smites them. And afterwards, he heals them. Shenemar, <clears throat> as it says, Venagafet Mitzrayim Nagof Verape, as it says, Hakadosh Baruchu smit Mitzrayim, hurt them first, and then he healed them. Now he says there is to ask on this midrash. What is the toilet? What is the positive outcome here? What's so good about the fact that Hakadosh Baruchu first makes the refuah for Bnei Israel? He first always made the antidote. <coughs> what is the toilet here? What, what's so good about the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created for Bnei Israel first? He says he always creates the antidote and then he brings the problem. So what's so good about that? Why couldn't he just, yeah, create the problem, give the problem, whatever the machala could be, and then, you know, Heal them as well. So what difference does it make really if the machala comes first, if the, if the antidote comes first, if the ailment comes, what difference does it make? Now, according to what we just learned, it makes a lot of sense. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu has to first create the antidote first before he brings the maka, before he brings the problem. Why? Because when that Makkah comes on Bnei Israel, when Bnei Israel has Shalom, they have sinned and they deserve to be punished, and that punishment comes. So to speak, the refuah, the healing process, the antidote has come by itself, meaning Hashem is no longer the refuah. Why? Because Hashem already created the antidote first. And then brought the problem upon Bene Israel for whatever sins. So whenever Bene Israel sin and they are punished, yes, they are punished. And who's really the Rufa? Hakadosh Baruch Hu. But you know what? Hakadosh Baruch Hu had already created the Rufa'ah beforehand and it was already there. So it's as if to say, Hakadosh Baruch Hu saying, you know what? I'm not your Rufa anymore. Even though I am the one who brought the Makkah, I am the one who brought their pain, so to speak, and because I was the one who brought the pain, I shouldn't be the rofe. Therefore, what do I do? I created the refua first. The antidote, before, the antidote was created before I even brought the punishment. So that, so to speak, the antidote comes by itself. The refua comes by itself. However, he says, Im bohem ba'atzmam, if Bnei Israel themselves request that Hashem to be the Rufa, 
then Harehu Erofem Uchan Lahem. Then Akadosh Baruch Hu obviously will always be ready to do the healing himself. Ulfizeh, and according to this, this is the Kavanav when we say, Refaini Hashem Erafe, Hashem give me a Refuah so that I, be, I shall become healed. Bring me salvation because you are <coughs> my true salvation. Which means what we're saying, we are saying to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem, Ribono Shel Olam, even though you are the one that truly created this problem, even though you are the one who to begin with gave this machala, we know everything comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, even though we know that this was you, and it's not normal for a person to want healing from the person that actually caused the problem. In Kolze, with all of this, we're fine. I request from you, you heal me and I shall be healed. We want it from you. Because you, you are truly what will bring me true salvation. Because it's not like the healing process of human beings. It's not like going to a doctor. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Rafa Chinam, is the true free healer of all. Now, let's go further. One second, please. He says, now, when we say that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the personal healer of Am Yisrael, however, when it comes to the Umot Olam, when it comes to our enemies, it's not the same way. How do we know this? We see from the Pasuk based um, because the Pasuk says in Yeshayahu that Hashem smit Mitzrayim a big Magefa and they were and then they were healed. Meaning, you see the language is verafo and they were healed. As if to say, they were just healed. You know, Hashem brought, brought a magafa on them, a machala on them, an illness or whatever it might have, whatever it was that Hashem brought on Mitzrayim, all the magafot and the makot, and then they were healed. The mashma nagof al yedei mashchit, meaning Hashem had ministering angels doing the job. They brought the illnesses, and then they were the one who were in charge, so to speak. They were the doctors to bring the healing upon Mitzrayim. However, by Bnei Israel, it says Ve'erafe. I shall heal. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, "For Bnei Israel, I myself will make the refuah. I myself will be the one to bring you refuah in the present tense." <clears throat> Now, another answer here that was actually, for me, this was the most important part of the Zerah Shinshon tonight. We could also say, to answer the question that we had on the Pasuk that says, Because the Pasuk says, all the machalot that I brought upon Egypt, I will never bring upon you. Why? Because I am um, Hashem, your healer. And we ask, all right, so don't bring the machala and don't be the healer. No problem. If, 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 you, if you don't cause the problem, then you don't have to heal either. Why do we need to know this? If you don't bring those machalot and those illnesses upon us, and we won't need the refua. Why do you need to tell me, I am Hashem, your healer? It says, Ella, the answer really is 
לפי שם הקוד שבאו על המצרים היו לעונש. Why did Hashem bring those makot on, on the Egyptians? What was it for? What were the makot for? The makot that Hashem brought upon Egypt were uh, uh, in a sense of revenge and punishment. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said that when B'nai Israel are about to leave Egypt, they're going to pay for all of the hardships that they gave his children. They're going to pay for all the hardships that they took B'nai Israel through. And that's what it was. Hashem was punishing the Egyptians. Why? For the punishment itself. The punishment was the end game. They deserved it. They needed to be punished. <clears throat> because of their mistakes. And it was out of revenge. Because Hashem said, He will take revenge for us upon Egypt, which was our enemy. As it says in the Pasuk in Tehilim, Hashem did He did revenge for us from the nations. As it says, in Shemot. Now, and it says also the pasuk also says, "Et Hashem hit alalti be'mitzrayim et ototai Hashem sam tibam bidatem ki Hashem ki ani Hashem." Uh, the Pasuk says that I brought all those makot upon Egypt for Egypt to know that I am God. However, however, Hashem says, God forbid, if there is any hardships that come upon B'nai Israel, they'll never be in this way. They're not going to be as the machalot that I gave Egypt. So Hashem is saying, all those machalot and our hardships that I placed upon Egypt, I will never place upon you. What does it mean? Saying because when a Jew gets Yisurim Chas V'Shalom, when a Jew gets hardship from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it won't be for the same reasons that the, the Mitzrayim got. Why? Because the Egyptians got all those hardships, all the makot as punishment and as revenge. However, for you, if you ever have hardships, you should always know, why are you getting hardships? Not because of revenge, and it's not just for punishment. In fact, it's not that way. It's to heal you. So Hashem is saying, All the machalot that I brought upon Mitzrayim, I will never bring upon you. Why? Because I am your healer. Hashem is really saying, this is a beautiful Zer Hashem Shon. Zer Hashem Shon is saying, Hashem really is saying, the reasons I brought those machalot upon Egypt was to punish them and to take revenge upon them. But you, it will never be like that. Why? Because I am your healer. Meaning, when I bring hardships upon you, chas v'shalom, and I bring different difficulties in your life, it won't be out of revenge. It won't be because I want to pain you. It'll be because it'll be because I am your healer. I'm trying to help you. There's something wrong and I'm trying to push you in the right direction. I'm trying to heal you. Just like a surgeon that asked the God forbid, to cut open an artery in order to sew it back together in the correct way to heal a person. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says it might hurt at that moment, but it's really I am the healer. I'm helping you. I'm trying to help you. All the Yisurim that I bright, might bring upon you is only for you to do Teshuvah, to come back to me. Mitzrayim, I could care less. I was punishing them because they deserve to be punished. I was punishing them because they were Rishaim, because they were wicked. I was punishing them because I promised that I will take revenge upon them for everything they took you through. But I won't be that way with you. Because I'm your healer. And as your healer, anytime you have hardship, know that I'm the doctor. If there's hardship coming upon you, you should know that it's coming upon you because I'm trying to give you a message. I'm trying to help you. I am trying to heal what is been going wrong. I'm trying to bring you back to me to do Teshuvah. And for you not to go back to your bad ways. And this is the pasuk. All the machala, all the hardships that I placed upon Mitzrayim, I will never put upon you. 
I will not bring upon you punishment just for the sake of punishment and for the sake of nekama, for the sake of revenge. Rather, because I'm your healer. I love you. I care for you. I'm trying to help you. When, when you do experience hardships, it is only to cleanse you, to heal you from your avonot, from your sins, which are ones, which are those that are dragging you down. And because of those, you shall come back and do teshuva. <clears throat> it is a very important message from one single pasuk. All the hardships, all the makot that I, that I brought upon Egypt, I shall never bring upon you. And the Zerah Shemishon in a nutshell says, ending off. Number one was, HaKadosh Baruch Hu was telling B'nai Israel, any time that there is any Yisurim in the world for B'nai Israel, any time that there is hardship for B'nai Israel, know that the Refu'ah has already been created from beforehand. That I've already given the antidote. It's out there. I would never leave you just out there with no help. Know that I created the help beforehand. And then to top that off, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling Mene Israel, the reason I punished Egypt was because of, I, I, I took revenge upon them and I punished them for the sake of punishment. That's it. I could care less if they did Teshuvah or not. They deserve to be punished for all their atrocities against you. But with you, that would be never the case. I would never punish you for the sake of punishment. I will never punish you for revenge. The only punishment you will ever experience is why? I am your doctor. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to direct you in the right path. <clears throat> know that I'm trying to cleanse you. I'm trying to help you and heal you. As we said, just like a doctor. <coughs> Sometimes a doctor has to give a shot. The shot hurts. However, you don't turn to the doctor and, and, and slap him across the face and say, why did you do that? Why did you just stab me with a shot? You actually thank them. So too, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, any pinches you feel from me, God forbid, we should never have Yisurim. No one in Am Yisrael should ever have Yisurim or hardships. We should always be smachot for all of Am Yisrael. Amen. But Hashem says, if you ever feel any hardship, know that it's coming from love. I'm trying to help you so that you can return to me and do full teshuva. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen. Thank you, Rabbi. Baruch Let me go ahead and stop the live video here and then I can maybe take questions. Okay, um, I can take questions if anyone has any questions. Okay, I guess we are good. Yes? Perfect, thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Rabbi. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, I couldn't be longer. My voice is a little bit scratchy, but I was able, Baruch Hashem, I'm glad I was able, to, we were able to have a shir tonight. Cool to everybody. So good, Rabbi. Feel better. Thank you. Amen. Feel better. Thank you, Rabbi.